I want to lick your earlobe. All right, you're already banned. First one banned back from Japan. Congrats. Can someone make an emote of John falling off the bike? Let's talk. A, let's make a list. What happened? Uh, what do you guys want to hear about? Sydney had taken a Japanese taxi to meet up at this. We kind of like snuck into a hotel. Not really snuck in because we walked through the front door. It was from a movie. Lost in translation. We went to that hotel. That's where we we're meeting up. Fancy as fuck. We go to the 50th floor and Sydney looks stressed. I'm like, what's going on? She had taken a taxi there, got out, forgot to pay because they're used to Uber Dude, and it's like already paid for. Her. Walks away. Taxi driver runs over with the receipt or the bill and Sydney had thought it was the receipt and she did this. No, no, thank you. Continues to walk away. The guy in Japanese like, uh, money, but she didn't understand it. No one did. The most giga chad thing ever. Just saying, like, pay me please. And Sydney said, no thanks. Walks away. Guy goes up to Toast. Toast kind of figures out the situation and goes, pay, goes to pay for it. It was so funny. Oh my god, she was so distraught. You TP stairs? I can take away his off. Take away his off now. Okay. Wait. Oh, I didn't take away. We're helped by an off. We're helped by an off. Nice. Nice Flashing door again. I'm flashing your left. One enemy. Oh, what the last one holds. Yo. I have a clone coming out. Oh, I'm getting back out. Spike spotted A. I'm watching you. Spike down A. I'm watching you. Yeah! Good work. You have to tell the sleep talking story. <sighs> Fucking. I. I was asleep. What, what am I going to say? Every morning, our morning routine was brush teeth, drink water, talk about what I talked about in my sleep. That was it. That was the three things. Apparently, it was every night. I was just so exhausted that I was just sleep talking every time. Piss boy? Suck, Chad. Wait, what did I say? I woke up to John abruptly sitting up in the bed and saying, they think I'm going to pee on myself. To which I reply, what? He says, oh yeah? Well, I am gonna pee on myself. He was sleep talking. Huh. Oh, yeah. are you tired? Sounds so different. <laughs> I like, don't really know how to describe what we sound like. Wait, watch this heist. Okay. Yeah. I'll be under two. Can go down? Oh, 124 under tube jet. You can go off my contact. One enemy yeah. remaining. Checking flank. Chamber front side. One, one uh, back side. One back side. Hold on, they're still getting a flank off. One enemy nice. remaining. Yeah! Nice shot. Hold this nice. dick chamber. Are you kidding that me right now? Wow. Oh. The onsen. Uh, chat. I have a confession. At the onsen, we were talking. We we're hyping it up a lot. Uh, during the IRL streams, we we're talking about how strategies mine was i was gonna shave my pubes into shape and be like oh my god i thought i sent you guys the email it must have not went through toast wanted to get hard before going the onsen so no one thought his dick was small um michael wanted to uh play uh whose dick is it by closing your eyes and then <laughs> yeah a lot of talk about it and then i go into the onsen right the boys are being boys. We're hanging out. I have to take off my glasses because it's so steamy. And uh, I can't see. I could not see anyone's dick. And I felt like I cheated the system. So I did the only play in the bro code book, which was I dropped my towel 
Since I couldn't see anyone else's dick, I thought, hey, everyone, you can see mine. I thought that was the most logical play in the book. And then Michael proceeded to say, oh shit, I got gum on my towel, referencing his ball sack. It was a good, it was a good pro time. It was nice. Very, like everyone very comfortable is like yeah. for sure. I think we're there 30 minutes. I tried out a sauna for the first time. It, it was like 200 degrees Celsius. I could not breathe in there, but it was refreshing. The cold bath was legendary. The hot spring was legendary, but it was all indoors. I had like imagined, um, I watched an anime as a kid called Love Hina. I was imagining like an outdoor, like hot spring covered on rocks, but it was just an indoor, like bathhouse. It felt like. Okay. You want to play? Let's play. Are you fucking me? Cutscene. No shit! The cat walk. They're leaving. Do this IRL to never miss ult. Uh, uh. All right, you gotta remind me when I have my my plus. I need right, six more. Do okay. I'll make your Oh. Spike planted. One Spike enemy remaining. Last one short. Oh my god! I'm made. gonna fuck. Fuck it. Let's go, Baylight. <laughs> Next, the biking. All right, who has a clip? Just link it. Just link the fucking clip. We'll just get the context out of the way. Just. <laughs> ah! ah! She's smiling. Oh, I haven't. I haven't seen it on my monitor. Oh, okay. Context! Context! Run it back. As you can see here, yeah. these are called bike lanes. And in my mind, I was instantly like, oh shit, Mario shortcuts? I'm in. I, I took every bike path possible. I took that one, and then there's another one approaching. Right here. But this wasn't any ordinary bike path. This bike path split into two, as you can see. This one is really thin, so I was like, oh, I gotta take the thinnest bike path. That sounds sick. Little did I know, coming up, there I am, you know, cruising, going fucking crazy, wicked as hell. There's a lady on the bike path. As you can see, I'm on the second bike path. I'm, we're, we're locked eyes right now. Oh, we're locked eyes like a little bit further back. I'm looking at her, she's not moving at all. I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'll switch to the other lane. So we just don't, you know, she's not forced to go around or I'm not going to crash into her. I try to go into the other lane, but there was a bit of a hill. And as I go up the hill and I turn my wheel, my front wheel, instead of going over the hill, continues to just slide sideways, which then creates the, uh, the fall. Does she stop to help? No! No, she fucking doesn't. Doesn't even bat an eye. Actually, she's just smiling right now. Yeah. And continues on with her day. Way. Jody's like, I, I'm kind of, I want to, I'm like kind of giggling about it. But then I'm also like, wait, she didn't even stop to help. So I'm like kind of distraught, blaming random. I'm not blaming anyone. That's a lie. I'm blaming her. But I don't care about falling. Oh, one close. Other one's offing. I don't know where. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm out. I'm out. Fuck one belt. Go CT. Go CT. Drifting was by far the biggest highlight of Japan. It might be a YouTube video. Some of the staff was drifting. It was mainly Michael and I though. Broden tried too. Well, the thing was, no one fucking came. It was advertised, hey guys, 
uh wake up at like 6 30 in the morning we're gonna take a three hour train ride <laughs> uh to bumfuck nowhere in japan and then <laughs> drift for two hours and then take a three hour train ride back and instantly like oh everyone's opting out for sure um broden talked me into it that i was like fuck it i'll go if if only if michael is the one that wants to go really bad and is the only one that's gonna show up there's no way sounds sick though it was so cool <laughs> unfortunately my <laughs> when they were teaching us how to do donuts and i was doing my trial run of donuts my mic uh, my mic was muted or like it turned off i don't know what happened i don't know when it muted um it was on when i got in the car and then when i got out of the car it was not on so <clears throat> that's so sad it's okay because the second time around they taught us a power slide it was three japanese gentlemen one guy one guy uh we call him dk donkey kong he was the legend has been drifting for 20 years set us up a a training course to be drift master he said drift master ready Satchel. go no idea oh we get big kills guys viper is on b it's okay main for you i'm gonna help you fight sand guy you in our spawn oh. in donkey kong's hand the thing was he was so good i didn't even doubt him it was only like the the tires could pop or something cracked. this you drifting i won't lie the drifting experience was hard and my biggest fear was like jody flame me for driving too slow or being a slow driver but later i figured out you don't even need to go fast i didn't even know how to drive stick and i was able to drift